The DNA Subway Red Line is devoted to genome annotation. On the Red Line, you can analyze up to 150 kilobases DNA sequence, use de novo gene prediction algorithms, construct evidence-based gene models, and visualize genome sequence in browsers. In order to get started, please log in to DNA Subway. You can do this directly from the iPlant homepage, or by going directly to dnasubway.iplantcollaborative.org. If you have an iPlant account and have requested access to DNA Subway, simply enter your iPlant username and password. You can also enter as a guest. However, as a guest, your work will not be saved. In this demo analysis, we'll determine the structure for an Arabidopsis gene. We'll analyze a 3 kilobase sequence from chromosome 1 of A. thaliana. We'll create a project, detect all the genes present in the sequence, import data from BLAST results and visualize in the local browser, construct a gene model, and then verify the gene model in Cytosome. Click the red square to begin a project. Choose Plant and select Dicotyledon. Select sample sequence Arabidopsis thaliana, mouse ear crest, chromosome 1, 3.40 KB. Name the project and click Continue. Click Sequence to view the input sequence. Click Repeat Masker. When the View icon appears, click Repeat Masker again to examine results. Click one or more gene predictors. When view icon appears, click the gene predictor again to examine the results. Click BLAST N to search and import similar DNA sequences. Click BLAST X to search and import similar sequences based on protein evidence. When the search is complete, click again to examine results. Click Local Browser to visualize results. Click on Apollo to start the program.
In Apollo, hide the reverse strand. Click the View menu and select Hide Reverse Strand. Expand Tiers. Click the Tiers menu and select Expand All Tiers. If there are too many tiers displayed, click the Tiers menu. Select Show Types panel and uncheck Show for evidence you wish to hide. Double-click the Augustus model and drag into the workspace. Double-click the new temporary model. Right-click to open the Annotation Info Editor. Name the model Augustus 1 in both symbol fields. Double-click the Blast End model and drag into the workspace. Double-click the new Temporary model. Right-click to open the Annotation Info Editor. Name the model Blast N1 in both symbol fields. Zoom in to examine the 5' prime and 3' prime ends of the gene models. Double-click the Augustus 1 model and right-click to open the Exxon Detail Editor. Adjust the 5' prime and 3' prime of the Augustus 1 model to match the evidence provided by the Blast N1 model. Use any other available evidence, for example, Blast N, User Blast N, User Blast X, to make alternative models if supported. Use the Blast X evidence to determine start stop codons. Drag any needed stop and start codon into your model.
delete the BLAST N1 model and any other extraneous models. Save your work back to DNA Subway. Click the File menu and select Upload to DNA Subway. Close Apollo. Click Phytosome Browser and compare the created model to the accepted transcripts. Need more help? Visit the iPlant user form and ask.iplantcollaborative.org.